Damn, talk about fucking technology, man. We are having fun at Auto Shrunk in the Head on this day, but like, yes, thank God, we are living in this day of internet, and we're back, and um, sorry, John Guth, we, we froze on you. I guess that was where the ice storm came. We froze, John, but we're back again. <laughs> Because we aim to please on this show of Who and Who, always on um, February 2nd. So, John. Yes? Where do you come from? Talk close. Okay, I was born in New Jersey. Oh, really? What? So, uh, how was that overseas, Jersey, town? <coughs> it was a squeeze. Uh, no, I, I was born in Oceanport, New Jersey. And where's that? Is that like the Jersey Shore? It's a shore, yeah. Really? So, are you a beach boy? Exactly. Did you surf? No. Did you swim? No. I was only there for about a month. Oh. Uh, so you don't... But he can sing the high harmony, though. <laughs> of the Beach Boys? So, um, <laughs> when did you move to New York? When you were a month? Uh, I moved to New York in uh, 1970. Okay. And you never left? Well, I don't live in New York now. I live outside of New York. Where do you live? I live in Valley Cottage, New York. Oh, so, okay. Which is near Nyack. Okay. And so perilously close to Elmira. So, not really. <laughs> not close to Elmira. Oh, no, Elmira. <laughs> you know, I have a song I wrote about Elmira. Actually. Really? It's called Unfinished Business. Let's hear it. Wow. Um, the, 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 yeah. I, I, maybe, maybe we will. But, I'm, a, um, I'm a few bars, no. Yeah, it's pretty funny, actually. Uh, okay. Maybe I might, maybe I'll, I'll play it maybe today because we might have the time. But let's get everyone in, and maybe I'll end with unfinished business. But um, wait, that's a good way to end. Yeah, or it's a good way yeah. to end. So maybe I will. But um, <laughs> wait, but so, but the, you have to go over that Tap Hands View Bridge to get to you, right? If you're in Westchester, yes. Oh, or the George Washington. Or the George Washington. You have to go over some bridge. Yeah, I know how to get to that area. Oh. Well, yeah. maybe I'll see you sometimes. Do you play up there? Yeah. Where do you play up there? Do what do you have to wear? Oh, really? <laughs> so, do you, so do you have gigs coming up? I know you play with Elliot. Yes, I'm uh, backing up Elliot uh, this Saturday at the Starving Artist Cafe. Which sounds best. Yes. Can you turn Myers. up the mics? No, just this one. And this one, too. I, I always like a guest that comes on and plugs I know. <laughs> I swear I don't have anything to do with that. But um. And then I have a... a Another gig at the Starving Artist Cafe in City Island on uh, April 17th, Sunday night, playing with my trio and my good friend Howard Levy on harmonica. Who's, uh, the greatest harmonica player in the world. He's yeah. ridiculous, yes. Oh, played, really? Played one of the greatest guitar players in the world. Yeah. John Goode. Yeah. John Goode. So we play lots of notes. So who are your inspirations on guitar? Uh, right now, uh, probably my favorite guitar players are uh, Bill Fischel. Really? John Schofield, Robin Ford. And how long have you been playing guitar? Uh, today? <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> how long have you been playing guitar today? I've been playing guitar uh, 49 years. Wow, so you are a seasoned guitar player. That's right, it's mostly oregano. I love oregano. <laughs> oregano is so good, I put it on a lot of things. It's a very healthy herb, you know. It is, yes. You know? I took some oregano last night. How'd you take it? A little uh, capsule. Yeah? Oregano oil. You know, you know do, do you know if you rub oregano oil on the bottom of your feet? You'll stick to the floor, right? No, you'll, you'll never get sick. Like, it's a really good oil, like, to, really? to clean you. And yes. your cat will follow you around. It'll definitely keep the doctor away. It does. It keeps the doctor away. Oregano oil, before you go to bed, put it on your feet, you put it on a little bit of socks. And, and you're you're fine. Yes. I believe in all those things. No, oregano oil is actually very good. It is. Yeah. So you, you take it in capsule form? Well, yeah, I was feeling a little for clamp last night. See, you should open it and put it on the bottom of your feet. Maybe. And, uh, well, I'll try that next time. You should bring me some. Bring me that oregano, man. <laughs> I want it. But I, I did feel much better this morning. Did you taste it though when it goes down like that? No, sometimes, it, sometimes it sort of rebounds a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure. You take too much. Mm -hmm. It's very intense, actually. Oregano oil. It is. It's good though. I just put it on my tongue sometimes. You know, you can get it in a, in a liquid. Yeah, tincture. It's really intense. Do you do it under your tongue? Yeah. It's like a couple drops, you, yeah. and you're and you're good to go. You're no, you're just uh, falling over. 
It's very intense. Like, do you get high from it? No, no, it's just no, like turned into it's just like a just falling <laughs> over. Oh, like a root, uh, like a Willy Wonka bonfire in your mouth. Yeah. Wow. And what about you? Have you ever tried oregano oil? No. Well, I'll bring some on Saturday. No, I, I mean I'll I use fresh oregano. You know, that's good too. To cook sure. with, but uh, and dried. You know, depending on the recipe. <laughs> but uh, but no, I've never taken the oil. <laughs> but you don't like oil. We're we're back to the no, oil we again. Get off the oil. Yeah, yeah, we get off the oil. Yeah, get off the oil. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You gotta exactly. take your oregano on a windmill. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Blow it in the wind. So, um, all right. So you guys are playing on Saturday, this coming Saturday, yeah. which is February fifth. It's, yeah, it's the seventh anniversary of the Starving Artist Cafe. Look at that! And, and this is uh, more of a week of time. But, yeah, but not to plug my, my, Please my plug place. Please plug your place. Yes, uh, plug your place. But uh, I've been playing with John now for a couple of years, and uh, I'm recording my album in his studio, great studio. He's a great producer. Is it in your neck of the woods? And it's in, yeah, it's yes, right. it's right down my hall. Yeah. In Valley Forge? Valley Cottage. Valley Cottage. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, it's it's um, also a pleasure to uh, have him uh, play with me at, at these gigs. He's great, and uh, he's he's a, a good songwriter and uh, and a good player. And uh, to have him play with me is an honor. So, That's so sweet. I want to so say that. In front how of long have you here. played together? How long? Uh, what, a few years now, right? It's like two or three years. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. It's, uh, several years. How'd you meet? I don't remember uh, anything before that. No. <laughs> Isn't it funny how life is like that? We met through other musicians in my, in my cafe. Nice. And, so you uh, met at the Starving Orvis Cafe. In the overlapping circles of friends that I have. Right. Oh, now, do any of those friends know Willie Nelson? Uh, I'm going to That's find what out. we're aiming for today. We want to have Willie Nelson. Willie Nelson. Oh, Willie Nelson. Oh, I think my friend Howard knows him. Howard? Yeah, I bet you he does. Cool. There you go. You're my new best friend. Oh, good. Now, we're going to come right back, <laughs> and we're going to let you play another song, because oh, you got frozen oh, in time, so we're going to take a five-second break, wow. come back, hear you again, and then we're going to hear a skeleton from your closet, so you can get some of the Heavenly Hash, because today is National Heavenly Hash Day, and you don't want to leave this show without having a little bit of that. Okay. All right. We'll be right back. Okay. 